Hello, welcome back. Last time I got a sample of delay tactics, which is incredibly fiddly, man heavy manipulation of stuff. <laughs> I didn't hate it though. It was actually kind of fun, just tedious and lengthy. So next time, uh, next time, this time, group five. Group five includes Ormites, Construct, Rock Golem, Half, Slayer, Yellow Door, On-Off Pressure Plate, Staff, Citizen, oh no, uh, Citizen related things, yeah. Okay, so Half I'm excited about, Slayer can be fun, Citizens are a pain usually. Alright, there are two entries for this group, let's see what the north one is. Old Quarry. For some, note, for, for some no doubt contrived reason, Bethro and Half headed to an old Ormite infested quarry, supposedly abandoned by all but the construct. <laughs> I'm having trouble reading right now. Supposedly abandoned by all but the constructs and golems that had been given orders to work there. Certainly not the kind of place you'd expect to find any slayers, although, given how things tended to go with the Empire, it wouldn't be shocking to see a citizen or two turn up who hadn't gotten the memo on the site's closure. <laughs> Plenty of references to the, the elements I'll be seeing there in that text. Okay. Slayer on pressure plate. Don't let Slayer move. So is this wisp elongation? Step in there. Slayer's released. Oh. So why does this even matter if that's the is that the that is the only way to release the Slayer? You're on a West Force arrow. Who's ever going to step on that? Nobody. Uh, Slayer, I can manipulate him into there. I know that the dance to do that. Okay. So I need to be in close quarters with the Slayer to get him to step on that. Well, then that's allowed to close because it reopens with this. But don't I have to go in here manually? If that's the only thing that opens him, it's either going to be me or a rock golem, and it's not going to be a rock golem. So, when the... Okay, so how do I start this puzzle, then? Those all open this. Oh, that's bad, because that lets the Slayer Wisp look at me. So, I need to... Manipulate the Wisp? Path so that he doesn't step on any of these? What? Are, okay, so let's just see what happens. Hi, I'm here. Hello, Slayer. You're looking at me. You stepped off that which closed this. What is a Slayer? Th okay, so your wisp saw the door. Oh. Oh no. I get the mechanism. So... So here's the thing. I need him to bump against this? Or like... Okay, so, so what happens here is I step on this. Slayer's Wisp finds me. He steps off that which closes the door. The wisp touches the door, which is closed. Therefore, he seeks the nearest thing that opens it, which is this pressure plate. So this slayer... Ooh! Purple highlight. This slayer knows about pressure plates. Treats him like orbs. Just step there, and that's open. Now he follows his wisp back. Our wisp goes and finds me. He follows it back... My task is to somehow use these guys. Oh, better idea. Hey, look. Here's a nice simple thing I can do. Okay. Now this won't be so bad. Uh, it's gonna be... Here, it's much easier with these. Can't I just simply lock myself in? Just set up a situation where I can have this fully enclosed. Uh, which means... That will work. Okay. Sure. So with fully enclosed, I need to delay full enclosement. I need him to be aware of this door and go step there. I thought I was going to be manipulating him in there, but it doesn't look like it. Well, not in close quarters. I need to manipulate him in there from a distance. 
This is a component of Slayer manipulation I'm not really familiar with. Okay, so let's try... Let's see what happens if I allow his Wisp to reach me. So I'm going to set up a distant Rock Golem. Who I will summon to walk all the way from over here to where I am. And block that in. The way I'm going to do that is like this. Uh, it's going to be one of you, because you two are going to come over here and go... Well, okay. You're not going to be super cooperative with that. You can fit. Okay. Yeah, I'll come back for you. Alright. So then you go here. You three just die because I don't need you. Right now, at least. If I need you for future plans, I'll restore to that checkpoint and bring you back. So... Summon Distant Golem. Summon Slayer. He's gonna... do some stuff. He's doing weird things because there's a Golem here. Golem stepped there and just cuts me off. So Slayer goes to... Hey, I cleared the room. So I can't bring the Slayer in here. Only Beethro can go there. <sighs> okay, let's do a room that doesn't involve advanced Slayer Wisp manipulation. I mean, the, I'm pretty sure the suggestion is I have to place down Rock Golem corpses in some way along this Wisp path to affect which one of these he likes to walk over. But the thing is, like, I feel like I need him to touch that door, be aware of his, its existence and then go down there, and that doesn't seem like something I can set up. I don't get to choose how far, how close to me he is when this closes. It closes as soon as he moves the first time. Those all open it. This exists. So yeah, right, I gotta get him to touch this door, be aware of its existence, Decide that's his best way to get to me, and then go step on that plate. But I don't know how to do that with those tools, and I'm not going to fiddle with it anymore. That's enough of that. <laughs> hey, health. Which health are you? Follow me. Yep. Your old health. Okay. As in, <laughs> aged up health, not the <laughs> older in terms of time health. Uh. Okay, so... I can ask him to do things. I can step there and get those monsters out. These all turn off with that. Toggle, toggle, toggle. Okay. Sure. Oops. No, you stay, you wait here, no prob. So this doesn't look too terrible. Uh, okay, so I need to ask Health to do that. Got it. Golem, stay there. I'll move you in a moment. Construct, I can just get myself, I think. That seems to be true. Good. And then ask Health to open this and what happens. He's not going to stand there as the problem. Oh, but I can ask him again. Okay, thanks, health. There we go. That was simple. See? Easy room. A citizen. Persistent movement token. Staff. But I can kill them with my sword first. It's not a mandatory staff. This Slayer, when the room is clear, is going to close that. This Slayer, when somebody, a citizen, steps there, after somebody steps there, what? Uh, 
Now all these mechanisms. How do I start the room? I can go in here. Do I need to create a citizen maze using these? That seems like the implication. Why do I want him to be slow in getting there? And do I want to prepare anything first? I almost certainly want a sword in here, not a staff, because I need to kill that construct. Oh, I guess I should probably kill him there, and I should probably have all the golems dead before that happens. That's why this is so long. So if Citizen Dude goes here, Slayer kills that, and that's great. Hmm, yes, I s well, but no, I can, I can just, I can just wait a little bit. Like, just, I want the construct to revive after the citizen is released before he, but before he gets to his destination. Oh, shoot, no, construct has to stay there. I can't bring a golem. This is set up to disallow that. How many is this? 27, minus 5, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. That's kind of close to within construct revive timing, so I have to time this exactly? Okay, so I'm going to just kill these now. Oh, well. If I can manage such a difficult task. <laughs> Don't know how I need these to interact with the citizen. They're clearly a tool for doing that. The most obvious would be that to delay the citizen. But I don't yet know why I'd want to do that. Seems like I just have to time these things together. So I want to smash the construct. I guess I probably want to do one of these fancy turn 30 smashes. So that would be, what, now? One earlier. Since I do that, I get an extra turn because he'd normally be reviving on this this turn and I would have to wait for for turn one to, uh, to get him to do his thing. Oh, uh, yeah, I see. So that's why I don't want that. So if I had five turns of delay, six turns of delay, then that'd be f fine. Construct, if the construct revives, it'll come to me through there. Anyway, so, okay, just, just create a citizen delay thing here. I'm not gonna bother killing these in any kind of fancy formation. I can shove them around with the staff. It'd be more efficient to kill him in a fancy formation, but I'll just do it the, the lazy way. <laughs> because it's simpler and I don't have to think as much. Alright, so... I'll create a little maze for you. You know what? That's just way too inefficient. I'm not happy with that. Don't like that approach. Gonna do it differently. That's approximately what I wanted there. Pretty close. Sure, now. So let's just shove this over slightly. Just make you take longer. can't use this last one, really. Can I? Yeah, I can. Uh, 
All right, so you're forced to go all the way around there. Okay. I mean, that's a that's a delay. Is it too much of a delay? I don't know. Is there such a thing as too much of a delay here? I don't think so. Uh, so I got the turn 30 kill. Without even having to try. Okay, and I'm done, right? So that doesn't turn green. Uh, the green door doesn't... Oh, wait. Why did you... This open toggles that? What? Why? Okay, so I can't get the construct to come to me. Wait, but the turn 30 kill. That was a 31. Okay, never mind. But like, 30 is no better. So turn 30. He revives. Then this happens. Do I want to just be a little bit less efficient? Like, I, th I feel like I want that smash to happen... Exterminate. ...at a different time. Okay, let's try waiting two turns here. Exterminate. No, that's worse. So you revived then... It's not like I can... Why does all this exist? It seems pointless if there's no way the construct's gonna go through here and there's no way with that set up. Unless the citizen's supposed to do it? Like, block this off completely so the citizen has to take this path? I guess that's semi-plausible. There's a persistent movement token, so he won't ever give up. So, did the citizen just arrive too late? No. Wait, so if the citizen arrived now... You would do this, so one, two, three, four. Okay, let's try having the citizen arrive four turns earlier. Do I dare press R again? I do. So one, two, three, four. Let's punch a hole right here. Let's see what happens. I don't feel good about this. I haven't fully reasoned about everything in this room. I'm just kind of trying stuff and seeing if I can jiggle it around and make it work. <laughs> Off by one but I had plenty of time, so that probably means that if I just delay him by one more, <sighs> okay, so that's the path he's gonna take anyway. <laughs> For some reason, I really wanna make this work this way. My wall is imperfect. I gotta fix it. It's all wrong. Okay, so I want him to be slightly slower. Okay. Okay. That timing lined up. I'm not sure what all this was for. It feels like there was a whole mechanism for going through here somehow that I didn't understand, didn't interact with. All right, well, I, I solved the room, so I, I guess I'm happy. <laughs> Ormites, many of them. Only way to start the room is here. Okay, golem, gole, uh, construct. Bunch of stuff I don't understand yet. Is this just dance with the construct and survive for a while? No, okay, so there's Ormites. So I gotta set him on there. That will kill him. Let's see, so... To not fully kill this construct. I can do that. Set him on there for a while. Uh, he will toggle that and come here, so that closes it. Alright, so I've summoned a construct. 
All right, so I just stand here and shove them onto that plate, right? Okay, sounds good. Do the same thing again, I guess. All right, sounds good. Do I want this? Yes. All right, no problem. Then constructs could... Construct can't stay there. So it's something more nuanced. I think I kind of know what. I'm not totally sure, though. I'm going to leave him there for a moment. Let's experiment for a bit. So if I would go in here and let the golem walk over that... He'd need to be delayed a bit, but that's as much as I can delay him. Like, he's as far away from me as he's going to get there. I can't have the Construct be a Golem obstacle because these are all Ormites. If he wakes up, he's not going to leave that area. Nothing else toggles those. I have to go in here somehow with somebody. So this is a part I don't get. I don't see how having the construct with me will help me do much of anything. Like he's either on here just sitting there doing nothing and so they'll never untoggle this from a distance, or he's on Ormites and then dies completely, or the golem is somehow, he can't be dead there. But with a full ring of Ormites, there's no way I can create a Golem Obstacle here, right? No other tools I can use. Can't bring a sword in here, so I can't actually kill this guy. He's going to be alive no matter what I do. Okay... I have a little bit of an idea doesn't fully work, but let's entertain it for a moment. So I'm going to push you on there. Golem's going to come in here and be on that and he won't stay, so that's useless. So it'd have to be the construct then. Okay, so then I'll put you back in your place. You stay there for a minute. So then... Then... Oh, here we go, here we go, this is how it works, yes. Push, push. Do that. I can't do it again. See, that's as far as I can get the construct. He has no reason to go east. Ah, uh, but if I do this again, I think I can make this work. Hey, no, no, no. Stay, stay off that. Not yet. I need you to be delayed a little bit or something? That's as far away, once again, as I can get you from, from me when this is happening. With the construct in there, I want to I wanna stand on here and be able to bump him over there. And then onto this. Yeah, that'd be perfect, but it doesn't seem like I can. Wait a minute. Okay, I see how I'm thinking about this wrong. I have, I've been, I've been working with the two halves of this, but I hadn't put them together. So here's how this works. The construct is a golem obstacle that will move, but he doesn't actually sit on the Ormites. So golem is, there we go. This is how it works. He gets out of the way, slides there, golem steps, and then steps again, and then I'm through. There we go. That was clever. I liked it. 
Like, yeah, I saw both halves of that. I tried to do them individually, but just didn't understand how to put them together. Okay, so now I can kill a construct, stick him on there, park a golem there, and then I'm done. So that has to be the construct? Okay, same trick. So here, you get out of my hair for a minute. You get out of my hair for a minute. Ah! <laughs> not, not that long. So you be dead. You be a golem obstacle. Nice. Very nice. I like this. This is a good room. Uh, you're the wrong... This is gonna have to be different. Because I can't get the construct from here to here as this happens. Can I get the golem from there to there though? Maybe. No, because somebody has to be here already for that to happen. But doesn't the construct have to be exactly there to stick the golem on this? Well, he just has to walk over. Okay. Constructs prefer north and west, don't they? Let's find out. Yeah. If I stand here, which way you go? Yeah, you go west. That's what I thought. So if you're coming up north when I'm standing here, you're going to go there. Unless the golem is standing there. Ha ha ha. I see. <laughs> Alright. So it's the same trick again. This is very clever. Okay, so, um... The construct goes, actually, I see where it goes. Uh, here. Golem goes here. Boy, this is so much easier with a stick. I could do it with a sword, but uh, you two are in the wrong order. Okay. Oh, well, no, but but I, I have the construct on the pressure plate, so it doesn't matter. I don't have to stick the golem there. <laughs> I, st I stick him over here. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. That was obvious. I just was not thinking correctly. There we go. That's the setup. So he's a construct obstacle. Construct slides, lets me out. Construct slides, lets me out. Thank you. And then you die. Yay. Awesome. Okay. This is an enjoyable entry. I don't know about this room over here, though. Looks like it's just those four. Is there anything I could do to figure this out real quick? It's the last thing I need to do. So, oh. Eight? Oh, oh, I just did it. <laughs> so, key observation I missed. There are eight of these pressure plates. I can just stick them down permanently with golems. And the Slayer won't be able to use them. I assume he's smart enough to realize that and go for another route, if that happens. Uh, I've made this a pain for myself. I've made this impossible for myself. Oops. Uh, no, I haven't. I can fix it. There we go. Okay, that's the little bit that I missed. Alright, so you're gonna look at me and then do this. Ah, this door doesn't even... Well, okay, so he never smells this door. He just looks at this one, sees the pressure blade to use... Oh, okay, so that was easy. I just <laughs> I just didn't see the trick the first time because I was so focused on all the way harder ways that this could have been <laughs> to do. Okay, hey, cool. A level I was able to clear. All right. <laughs> that was good. That was highly enjoyable. Nice. All right, that's a quality entry. And yeah, like within a, a very comfortable, friendly difficulty range. Nice! Alright, cool. So, that was Old Quarry. I'll see you next time for the other Group 5 entry.